Thanks, guys. Well, there's a warning this morning that it might be time to rethink your credit card use. From July 1, banks are slashing the benefits of their rewards programs and earning points will become a lot harder than it was before. Here to explain how all the changes will affect you is Rate City Money Editor Sally Tindall. Good morning, Sally. Good morning. OK, so what changes are on the way and what are they going to mean for users? Well, Australians have a love affair of credit card rewards, but as you say, it's all going to come to a crashing end come 1 July. And that's because the RBA is capping something called interchange fees. Now, that's a back-end payment between banks that you or I don't really need to know about, but they're, they're the fees that fund rewards programs. And as a result, they're taking the axe to a number of credit card options. All right, so it's going to mean uh, you, you earn less and there'll be new caps on what you can earn. Break it down for us in terms of which credit cards we're talking about. Well, so far we've got almost 40 cards that are changing. We've got a list on our website that we're continually updating. But unsurprisingly, some of the biggest changes are with the big banks. CBA, for example, is cutting the amount of points that you can earn per dollar by up to 83%. NAB, for example, is reducing the uh, number of points you can earn in any given month by up to 85%. And then ANZ has completely axed their partnership with Amex altogether. So they've told their uh, customers that they've got to take the scissors to their card come August. So it, it seems to be American Express is one of the cards that is being affected the most. Is there a reason for that? Well, it's actually um, the banks issued Amex cards. Amex is not affected in this. But if you've got a companion card with one of the big four banks where you get the option to pay Amex or you get to pay the option for Visa, they're the cards that are really affected. All right, so we, we all like to think we're going to use these points, whether we're using them on flights or using them uh, in the supermarket. Are we really getting our money's worth, though? Chances are you are not. Uh, we did some research. The average credit card holder is likely to go backwards on one of those oh big bank-issued companion cards. In fact, you need to spend upwards of about $40,000 a year on your credit card just to get some value from rewards. That's a lot of money to be spending for very little gain. All right, so uh, if you are a fan of the rewards credit cards, if you want to still keep earning, who's the bet? Who, do, who do you go with? Well, look, opt for something that has no annual fee. That's a really good start. Mm -hmm. Our pick is the Coles No Annual Fee MasterCard. It's great because you get flybys rewards points, but you also get things like free online delivery for Coles and a free $100 voucher when you sign up. Uh, another good one is the Amex Essentials card. They have no annual fee, but you can, you can also earn uh, frequent flyer points, which a lot of people like. Um, HSBC and Woolworths as well? Absolutely. HSBC Platinum Credit Card has a $99 annual fee, uh, but they do waive it if you spend uh, over $6,000 a year on that card and you get rewards points. And then Woolies has a pretty good offering, annual fee of about $50, but you get some uh, Woolies rewards points as well. So with the new financial year just around the corner, does that mean now is the time to maybe have a look at your credit card and decide uh, maybe I should go somewhere else and get a better deal? Yeah, it's a great time to do a health check on all your finances, but particularly a credit card. And it's a really good time to sit back and think, do I actually need rewards points? If you're someone who doesn't pay off your bill in full every month, then it's probably worth looking at a low-rate card that has no annual fee. Because let's be honest, the rewards points are probably costing you money. All right, great advice. More information on the Rate City website? Absolutely. All right, thanks, Sally. Thanks, Jane.